this is Frida welcome back to my channel this is part two of the knitting the actually part three of the knitting uh, mittens on straight needles I do apologize it did not plan as I wanted to fortunately okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna move these stitches to this uh, yarn as soon as I press the pause button, it created a second video. So this is the third. Okay, so this one, the ones that are here are knit stitches and the ones that are back are purl stitches. So this is a knit stitch, purl stitch, oops, let's slide. Knit stitch, double stitch, knit stitch, double stitch well double is pearl stitch <laughs> I do have a tutorial on how to knit double stitches if you go on the description box you will find them out okay so I'm gonna pull this old away and on the strap yarn it's easier to pick up the stitches I already tied my knot there. Start knitting. Technology. I hope it was, well, I'm sure it is easier, but unfortunately, I don't have enough space on my phone to create, to make a movie. And, uh, yeah. And I don't have enough I have a knot there it's not moving so what I'm gonna do is my scissors just fell all down grab my other scissors these used to be my son's when he was going to elementary school every year I would buy him a school supply from this company the school so in every year I would he would get new brand new scissors <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to go back where I have the knot, where I have added the yarn to start knitting. So, I don't want to miss anything here. So what you see, what you see, the knit stitch, I know it's hard to see, but unfortunately I don't knit mittens often and this is just an opportunity for me to show you how to knit one. And... Um, that skin keeps on showing on the camera. <laughs> well, anyways, I have a double um, knitting tutorials, couple of videos, so it's on the description. If you can't see, if you don't feel comfortable, go into those links and you can watch them easily. Otherwise, yeah, I have this yarn that I'm knitting. And so, okay, so this one is on the back. This, this is a purl stitch. Yeah. this one's a knit stitch so I'm just moving these to the to the needle just how you pick it up and it's hard this is the only trick I tried with the knitting needle and it's hard because you you divide it by half right Okay, so I moved everything to the needle. Ta-da! And you can't pull it. it. I try, it doesn't work. So you have to cut the yarn. Be careful not to cut the yarn I have already. Okay. Okay, I do apologize where I live. It's a corner lot. Our house and it's a very active road even the doors are closed no matter what I do people drive like maniacs and you can hear how they're driving so I can't do anything for that reason okay here we go okay so this is what we're going to be knitting just knitting straight back and forth 
but we're going to be creating that um, and I'll weave these later nothing to worry about yeah you just weave it and then see nothing no holes nothing you just go back and forth just to show you so nothing to worry about that and I will show you how to do that because I have 30 minutes here and I'm not gonna stop <laughs> until I finish this if I pause it creates a another video I'm on the le le learning process so please forgive me <laughs> okay so I'm just using my uh, 16 uh, inches long I use these for knitting sleeves and socks so this needles is the same five five millimeter knitting needle okay so okay the first knit stitch is a purl stitch but I'm going to knit that well I'm not gonna knit it I'm just gonna go like this I'm just gonna slip it to the next needle okay oh that was a knit stitch see this is a purl stitch you can see it right so what we're going to do is we're going to slip that just like this without knitting and next is a knit stitch and we're going to knit this one okay just knit this one and the next is a purl stitch so slip slip it to the next to the next needle and then have the yarn on the front and the next stitch is a knit stitch so we knit that one slip we're slipping that's how we're creating that double knitting technique and the next is a knit stitch Here's the yarn black okay and the next is a purl stitch so slip it knit slip it knit okay so we're turning our work it's like knitting circular but we're knitting it like this okay so slip knit stitch purl stitch of slip so when I say slip that means a purl stitch so don't knit that knit slip knit slip knit slip knit and then I'm going to knit the last one. I know it's a slip, but I'm just going to knit it. Okay. And then if you put your finger, you will see that it's a double knitting. Go see. <laughs> you can knit gloves as well using the same technique. Okay. So slip. Just slip the first stitch. So slip the purl stitch. Knit the knit stitch. Slip the purl stitch, knit the knit stitch, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip, and knit. So I'm going to continue knitting like this until I have the same length. Just, just gonna, just gonna measure it. It's only 11 stitches so this will grow fast like it will knit fast I didn't count how many rows is just me measure your thumb and knit and then we start doing the decreases as we did the mitten same and uh, yeah so slip knit Don't ever knit the purl stitch. If you knit it, then you won't have that double knitting texture. So 
So please be cautious about that. That is very, very important. Oops, knit. I'm just going to knit the last one. Slip. Did I knit that? See, I knit this one. I'll be, be very, very careful. So slip. Thank God I saw it. Knit. Slip. Knit. Slip. Knit. Go back and I always check just in case if I knitted it. Because when you put your thumb in, it won't go like the yarn won't let you go when you pull it right when you put your finger okay. I remember when I was a kid I, you know, when you're first learning, you always learn it the hard way. And I would, I couldn't do it because I was keeping on knitting the purl stitch. And then when I, when I put your finger in, it won't let you go in because it's not double knitted. Some parts would go, but some, some parts I, I would accidentally knit. So I would keep on um, frogging and restarting over and over until you fix it, right? That's how you learn. Slip, stay knit, slip. I think I'm almost there. Okay. So measure it again. Yeah. We're done. See? Just to be on the safe side. Yeah, we're done. Okay. I measured it okay so we're gonna do the decrease to do the decrease okay I'm just gonna slip this so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna knit these three stitches together Be careful Just like this. Okay, and I'm gonna do slip, knit, slip, knit, and then slip, and I'm gonna knit these. Oh, I'll do that. Oop, don't knit. <laughs> slip, knit, slip, knit. I'm going to do the decreases at the beginning. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do the same. The reason I'm moving this to give that nice look. So the stitches, the yarn would be on the back. So I'm going to knit the three stitches again. That's what I did. The previous row. And I'm going to knit the stitch. Skip. Knit, skip, knit, and then knit the last one. Okay. And I will leave this later. And I'm going to do the same again. Just when you move it, see it's on the back and give it gives you that nice texture. And I'm going to knit these three together again. Slip, it's a purl stitch. Knit, the knit stitch. 
slip and knit. Okay, we still have five, so I'm gonna do the knit three together again. Okay, move this nicely. Knit three together. Knit this one. Knit the last one. I'm going to knit I'm going to knit this last three stitches. And we're done. Yeah, again, I'm going to remeasure the thumb. I'm going to even try it. I always try what I knit. I put it on myself. And this is how you knit the thumb. Ta-da!